Now to two sporting champions who share an off-field bond they could never have predicted. Mark, they're parents of preterm babies. It's a challenge for many families, Monica, and one which has confronted West Coast Eagle star Jack Darling and former cricket champion Mike Hussey. Tonight, both dads reveal how the stress of a family crisis helped put their sporting careers into perspective. something that's very close to our heart because yeah, we've had two uh, premature babies. In that time it was pretty stressful. There was times where um, you know, probably at 12 hours a day at the hospital. And that's what we focus on, basically saving women and babies. They're two sporting dads making a difference. I'm really passionate about it and, and I guess the reason why is because I've seen it firsthand and, and it's tough. Mike had been representing Australia in 2007 when he made a mercy dash home from the West Indies for the birth of his third child, Molly. And we just won the World Cup in the West Indies, so I was expecting to be celebrating the, you know, the big win and uh, enjoying my time. And literally a couple of days later, we were in the hospital and I had this tiny, you know, one kilo baby, um, you know, in my arms. It proved a confronting time for this champion cricketer. All I saw was this tiny little you know, human being that was so underdeveloped, so small, um, needed so much help, there was tubes and wires coming out all over the body. Molly and Mike's fourth child, little Oscar, were born at just 28 weeks. Molly, she, she um, after a year, was diagnosed with um, cerebral palsy. Um, it's quite mild, so she gets around pretty well. Met a lot of parents going through the similar things and some children born at 700 grams, um, so just yeah, it was a bit of an eye-opener. Jack's son, Max, was also several weeks pre-term. He was only in um, ICU for 13 days, so for us, he was pretty lucky. He really enjoyed, um, he was gaining weight. He enjoyed all the breast milk and he was a bit of a monster. Max was healthy, but Jack missed the birth because he was with the Eagles on the Gold Coast. I was over there and unfortunately it happened very quick, um, but yeah, I didn't get back in time. I was in a, in a taxi on my way to the airport. 15 million babies are born preterm worldwide. A million of those will die. The Women and Infants Research Foundation is producing impressive results. We have, for the first time in history, managed to reduce the rate of preterm birth here in old little WA by 8%. <gasps> he's looking at you, Oscar. He's smiling at you. <gasps> for Mike and Jack, it's a journey they could never have forecast. As a first time dad, um, this you didn't expect anything like that. You think, yeah, you would get pregnant, your wife be pregnant for nine months, you know, you have a baby and go home. I would much prefer to face Kirtley Ambrose on a green pitch than, uh, than have to go through this. I, I really would. Sporting star power with a passion to contribute to a cause. To raise money for, um, you know, to stop premature birth, um, yeah. Us personally, it's affected when it affects you personally, you really want to get um, behind it. Mike and Amy Hussey are both ambassadors of the foundation, which will hold its annual spring gala event at Kings Park on Saturday night. Mon. Thanks, Mark. And for more info on how to donate to the foundation, again, head to our Facebook page.